exactly well. It sure has been a crazy year in Atlanta real estate. Uh, this month, of course, is no exception. September, again, showed some really uh, interesting pieces uh, to our marketplace. Uh, of course, it continues to be a very strong seller's market out there. There are some great opportunities for buyers as well in the marketplace. Interest rates continue to remain very, very low, although they are ticking up just a little bit. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to delve into the numbers just a little bit, share with you what's going on in the Atlanta real estate market. Now, this is uh, information from the Atlanta Board of Realtors and compiled by uh, data from the first multiple listing service. So let's jump right in here and take a look at what we've got going on in the Atlanta local real estate market. This last month of September, we had 6,671 total sales with 9,202 active listings. That makes 1.3 months worth of supply. Um, our new listings that came in were 7,998 with the average price around $429,500. That's quite a tick up we've seen in the last year and a half uh, in our prices. Median price, the same thing ticking that thing way up there at 359,000. Um, so that being said, let's take a little bit closer look. You saw a 10.1% decrease from 2020 in the total number of monthly sales. That has mostly to do with the fact that there's very little inventory out there for buyers to choose from. Um, homes are selling faster uh, and they're selling for more money right now. Uh, we saw a really sort of a peak in uh, April and we've kind of seen it taper off and level off here in the last few months. There are some rumblings that there may be some more inventory coming in. I know some folks have heard things about the Zillow uh, buyer stop buy, stopping buying homes. Uh, that's going to also probably provide some more supply for those who are uh, looking to buy on their own as well. Uh, we saw sales prices increase again. Look at that. 15.8% from 2020. So that's year over year, a 15.8% increase in sales prices. Uh, and same or very similar number there with your average sale price up 14.5% from the same time 2020 uh, to $429,000. That means you're probably rolling in about 14 or 15% uh, increase on your property value if you're in the middle of the market. Now, if you're looking at what's going on with the inventory, it is still staying somewhat flat. We saw a little bit of an uptick there in July, which is fairly typical as we roll into the summertime, uh, but it has stayed mostly flat throughout the year uh, because demand is just still incredibly strong and interest rates are incredibly low. Uh, for my sellers, that means now is a fantastic time to sell your home. You're really commanding the most your, for your property. They're typically selling fairly quickly if they're priced within the realm of reality. Um, if you have any questions on that, of course, we're always happy to answer those for you. Now, when you look at new listings, they're actually down, uh, which is very typical and very not noticeable with the marketplace, uh, down 8.4% from the same time last year. So that means less inventory at this time this year than there was at this time last year. And lastly, active listings, way down, 22.8% decrease from 2020. So that means they came on the market, they went pending, and they were off the market really, really quickly. The market is moving very, very fast right now. Um, I think everybody's kind of seeing that. We are seeing some signs that it is starting to normalize. Uh, there may be also be some foreclosure inventory that may come into the marketplace. There may be some more that Zillow tries to unload for, since they stopped their, uh, their iBuyer program. Those will help normalize the market. It's not going to blow up in anybody's expectation, but it should help turn things back a little bit more into a normal market. So that does mean, though, for my sellers, now is probably a really going to be one of the best times for you to sell uh, in any time in the near future. But it also means for my buyers that you're going to have some great opportunities coming up in the near future to find the home that you've been looking for and maybe that you've been holding out for. Now, let's keep in mind, look at the old interest rates. When we look at the interest rates, you can see they have slowly ticked up just a little bit. You notice they were right around the old 3% mark there uh, just a couple of months ago, and now they're ticked up to almost three and a quarter. We expect that trend to continue throughout the rest of the year and probably well into the next year or so. So you're going to see those interest rates continue to go up. Hopefully you'll see more inventory 
uh, come into the marketplace. Um, and then, of course, prices do continue to escalate. Uh, if you ever have any questions about buying or selling in the Atlanta real estate market or anywhere in the world, we have affiliates all over the country that we personally interview and that we personally know that we can put you in, in the hands of uh, to make sure that your real estate experience goes perfect every single time. Uh, that being said, that's your Atlanta real estate market update. I'm Brew Krebs with Berkshire Hathaway in Midtown. I hope you have a wonderful day and I uh, look forward to seeing you in real life real soon.